for you coming up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Coach, good win today on midweek coming off a weekend where you dropped the series at Clemson. How does it feel to be back in the win column? Well, it's always good to be home, and uh, Luke Smith gives us another start and gets us through the first, you know, three-inning segment, as we like to call it. And it was, you don't know how these games are going to turn out. It's a 2-1 game, you know, halfway through, and um, you try to hope you get an opportunity to use some arms, maybe haven't pitched as much, and get some guys at bats and maybe haven't gotten at bats as much. But we knew they were going to, they were going to fight. They were going to make it make it tough. And fortunately, Elliot got us out of a huge jam there. And we got the bats going in the second half of the game. Normally in these midweek games, the pitching isn't nearly as good as what it usually is during the weekend rotation. But today, between all seven pitchers you sent to the mound, you guys got 14 strikeouts and only walked five. What's it feel like, to, even during a midweek game, to know that you're throwing out quality pitchers? I you mean, you know, Coach Williams is the best. And uh, we got talented arms, and uh, especially in the midweek. And these guys that come out of the bullpen, and sometimes these younger guys don't throw as much. But they're super talented. And, uh, heck, I, I was disappointed at the way we gave up the two runs, you know, that we gave up. Um, uh, but it just it showed you, yeah, how good our pitching is and how good they were today. And um, because, you know, the midweek games are, are tough and, and we got some big ones coming up. A couple of big days at the, at the plate. Zach Britton, a couple doubles, Tyler, a couple doubles. Uh, just talk about the, the offense and how well they were seeing the ball today. Yeah, I was just I was disappointed early. Uh, we left some runners out there. We didn't get a guy in from third. We didn't get a guy over and in. Um, you know, we, you'd like to manufacture some runs a little early in the game, but you know that that third time through the lineup, the bats really got going, and um, you know, Britton did what what we know he's capable of doing. Um, he's just you know in and out of the lineup, and a little bit in the outfield and DH, and um, Benellis has another huge uh, mm -hmm. at bat, um, and that's you know to be good, you got to have different guys step up. Uh, different nights, and we've got plenty of guys that are capable of stepping up. Was there any adjustment that was made offensively that got those runs going? <laughs> I don't know about a judge. We had a little heart to heart in the dugout, so I don't. Sometimes when I get mad, it works, and uh, other times it necessarily doesn't. But you know, they they knew they they, we, they knew we were frustrated that we missed opportunities, uh, and you, you let you let a good you know you let college baseball teams hang around, and anything can happen, and and. Um, and so we, we really, I thought, turned it up uh, that third time through the lineup and, and locked in and just seemed more focused, had some more uh, energy to us. And, um, and sometimes it's not always me. You know, Zeke Pinkham called up the hitters, you know, and, and shared his frustration. Um, so it was good that, you know, we got guys that are into the game and they care. And um, sometimes that's all it needs, just a little refocus at the reset button. And um, it worked tonight. You got Lucas back at the top of the order, three for six on, on Sunday. Got you started today with 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 the leadoff hit and scored. How big is he? To, you know, to your top of the lineup. Yeah, it, well, it just allows us to uh, put Fitz in what we think is a comfortable spot for him in the three hole. It allows us to put you know a guy like Oriente or Britton behind uh, Wyatt. You know, so you get some protection for Wyatt. Um, it just it stretches out our lineup when you can put Dunn at one and kind of bump some guys back. It, it makes us just deeper and stronger through the middle of the lineup. So, uh, you know, Lucas uh, shows his versatility. We got him in the outfield. He finished the game at second base. Uh, it's nice. It's nice to have guys like that, as we call them, the, the Zobras type players that can play just about anywhere on the field. And so if guys aren't hot and we need to stick a, you know, Lucas in that spot, you know, he can fill in in any spot. And, definitely adds to our depth right now. NC State coming up, obviously another huge series. They all are in the ACC, yeah. but leading the Atlantic, how big is this for you yeah, guys? Yeah, I mean, we you know we knew these weekends coming up here, the, the Clemson weekend and NC State uh, were huge weekends. And we don't we don't talk about it necessarily. I think the kids know. Um, you 15 road games in the ACC, and, and we just played a top 20 team, and now we're playing a top 10 team. Um, you know, hopefully we learned a lot from the Clemson series and uh, a lot of respect for NC State. It's a great program, and um, so we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a good challenge. Right. Thanks, Thanks, Dan. Thanks.